The DVX200 supports a system called Scene Files, which allows it to have multiple pre-programmed looks ready to go at the press of a button. So the out-of-the-box look that the camera can deliver, there's actually at least six out-of-the-box looks. How do you access that? Just touch the touch screen, and across the top of the screen, you'll see SCN1, SCN2, SCN3, 4, 5, and 6. Those buttons are how you change among the scene files. So you don't necessarily have to learn how to program the camera just to be able to get a slightly different look at it. If you don't like the look that you're seeing, just press one of those buttons and swap to scene file two or three or four and get a different look and choose which one that you prefer. So what are these six looks that are pre-programmed into the camera? Scene one is designed to be your default, your go-to. When you're looking at something that you just wanna make something that looks like normal video footage, scene file one is designed to deliver that standard look. Scene file two has a different color matrix. Everything else is the same, but scene file two has the fluorescent color matrix. And it's designed for when you're shooting under fluorescent lighting where there may be a little bit of a green cast and you want the camera to try to compensate for that. Scene file three is designed to make the images really kind of sparkle. The color is boosted up a little bit, the contrast is boosted a little bit, the details boosted up, so things should look a little bit crisper, a little bit sharper, a little bit sparklier. In past cameras, Panasonic has recommended this scene file for something like, you know, weddings or whatever. You can use any of these scene files for whatever purpose you want, but that's the general idea that they had in mind creating that scene file. Scene file four is designed to stretch up the shadows. It's, a, it's kind of a black stretch scene file. So it's a generally normal image processing, but the shadows are boosted and stretched. Scene file five is for shooting a film looking image, a cinema looking image, but with strong contrast. So deep shadows, bright highlights, a lot of contrast between them. This would be suitable for putting the footage directly on a TV monitor, for example. Scene file six is also designed to be for film look, but it's not as contrasty a look as scene file five is. It's a, it's a flatter contrast curve, maybe more suitable for taking into post-production. Of course, if you're really going to be doing a lot of post-production, you can bypass all the scene file processing and just shoot in Vlog L, but we'll discuss that in one of the later videos. So you've got these six pre-programmed scene files, and the easiest way to judge among them is just point the camera at the scene, take a look at what you see, swap among the scene files, and see if one of them looks better to you. If you're not really finding what you're looking for, keep in mind Panasonic has released a package of 18 different scene files that I developed specifically for the DVX200 that give a wide variety of looks. I'll get scene files in there that emulate, for example, the Panasonic GH4 camera. We've got six scene files to, to try to match this camera to the GH4 or one that matches the Panasonic PX270, or one that matches a DSLR. And then there's a number of stylized looks as well, you know, a very cold or very warm image. So there's a, there's a wide variety of scene files available to you. You can download those, keep them on a SD card in the camera, and then load up any of these packages and swap among them instantly. As you can see, you are not restricted to some out of the box look from this camera. In fact, you've got at least six different looks available to you just at the touch of a fingertip. And if you download the scene files off Panasonic's website, you'll have 18 more. So now you've got at least two dozen different looks to choose from. I'm sure at least one of those is gonna give you the results that you're looking for and it's gonna make you even happier with your camcorder purchase. Stay tuned to this channel and see the other videos in this series for even more tips and tricks on how to use your DVX200 and get the best from it. Panasonic.